everybody, it's Bree and Richard here, and after a month-ish, yeah, about a month, of having him, I am finally getting around to doing his character introduction video, so that's what this is, and uh, I hope you all kind of at least a little bit enjoy it. So, Richard and Raiko's stories are very much intertwined because Richard is responsible f for not only Raiko as a being, but also for his creation. And in Raiko's video I talked about how the um, the country's kind of split. You have the overarching military, uh, which uh, Raleigh is a part of, and so is Andy. Then you, um, about 500 or so years ago, the, mil the overarching military split in two, and you have um, what Raleigh is part of, and then a hunter type of organization that's now separate, which is what Richard's a part of. And his family has been kind of in a back and forth with another powerful uh, northern family for control of the hunters who are called the Dodgy, and they have been at odds with the military since the split, and it was actually his ancestor who caused that to happen. Anyway, the hunters are fighting these genetically engineered monsters that come from a northern country who hopefully I can get at least one of the dolls from there related to someone from there soon, which will be a whole other <laughs> whole other video. Anyway, because they were starting to lose a lot, they weren't doing very well, they started looking into magic and using what they learned about these genetically engineered monsters to create one of their own, and that's where Raiko comes from. Um, Richard specifically, as I said, is in charge of the Raiko project. He is in charge of the creature it produced. And he will go out with um, the team, with um, Raiko himself, to hunt these things down. He trained him. He's taken care of him from the time he was born until now. And um, f personally, he is a magic user, kind of like Aldrich. Aldrich uses a lot of more alchemy. Where we'd be more familiar with it is, you know, chemistry, kind of a halfway point between chemistry and true alchemy. Um, Richard uses a different sort, which is called fusion. And what that means is he can take his soul and put it together with something else, whether that be, you know, plants, animals, uh, sometimes spirits or demigods, that kind of thing. And it's a very difficult sort of magic to learn, and it's actually why his hair is blue when <laughs> pretty much everybody else in my story has some sort of hair color that's found naturally in humans. What happened, and this is actually a large source of a mild embarrassment for him, is that he tried to fuse with a water spirit, and while it worked, the separation didn't happen correctly, and so now his hair is stuck like this, and it's actually a really huge reminder of what is essentially a failure for him. So it's it, it's a very interesting reminder for him, and he, you, when he and Raiko are out hunting, he uses this kind of magic to help and to help corral these monsters that Raiko then actually kills. Um, the way he fits into the rest of the story is that because Raiko shouldn't have existed, and then most of the story takes place with um, Raleigh, Andy, and sort of Aldrich kind of helping-ish, more to save his own hide, um, he is he and Raiko are hunting them down because if the rest of the military finds out the force for the Greater Kingdom's military is more numerous than the Dodgy are, and so they would come in and essentially kill all his hard work, and he obviously does not want that, despite the fact that he thinks Raiko is a good idea. And so he's he and one other person, who will hopefully be my next doll, are kind of the main antagonists of the story, and yeah, that's how he fits in. Um, there's the, um, the head of the rival family, or not head, but another member of the rival family is the same rank as him, so they end up in a lot of arguments because she, um, their families are at odds with each other. She and him are the same rank, so they get in on it. And technic he's in charge of the Ryko project. She's technically in charge of the department that is under. So in a weird, they're the same rank, and yet in a he weird way, she's his boss. And mostly because she's from the rival family, he doesn't like her very much, and she doesn't like him. So that's kind of what he is and what he does. 
um, within the context of the story itself and kind of the minutia of the chasing of I guess our merry band of heroes, I don't know what to call them, down is more more detail than I am going to reveal right now until it gets written. But uh, yeah, I hoped you liked his little character introduction. I should probably mention that he's not the nicest person to Raiko. He kind of treats him like a dog. He doesn't see him as a human being, even though he looks like one, because that's what he built Raiko to be, a dog. So that, again, kind of puts him at odds with our heroes who see this creature and see it as, oh, you're actually a person, despite the fact you can't actually talk very well. And so it's another... That kind of gets much dark. Their relation, um, his relationship with Raiko gets very dark, and I don't really think it's appropriate to talk about right now unless people have questions. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, that's who he is. I'm working on trying to improve the channel, so if you guys have anything you want to see, anything you think I could be doing to help, um, make this better because I mean these videos are for you guys uh, please leave comments below and I'll see you next week bye bye